first things first, obviously we have to remove the old knuckle. So to do that, this nut comes off the drive shaft, which I already undid. Caliper comes off, which lets you take the disc off. So this bigger ring can come off as well. Then it's just the four forearms. Yeah, one there, one there, one back there, lower control arm here from the bottom, which is always a pain in the ass, and the coil over has to come off. From there, pretty much good to bolt the other one straight on. Oh, and the wheel bearing. Wheel bearing's also got to come off. Right, once the coilover is disconnected from the knuckle, it's a good idea to raise it up. Because the Geomaster because the Geomaster 3 knuckles are a drop knuckle, they lower the car, I believe, 45mm. So what I'm going to do is raise the coil over 45mm so it still sits at the same height. And to do that, once it's disattached or detached, all I have to do is wind this for approximately forever until the gap between the lock ring and the lower cup is 45mm. Go. That is actually 45 mil. I did just measure it. But yeah, shows how much the uh, car has actually dropped just by fitting these knuckles. However, it does make all the control arms sit in exactly the right place. Just move that out of the way. Now, ish. This can come off, leaving the hub. So I've got to knock the shaft out from here and then I can get to everything under here to remove it from the lower arm. Then I just have to remove the wheel bearing from the knuckle itself, which looks quite corroded so that could be interesting. Is that loose? Now the drive shaft is out. I've stuck the camber arm back in temporarily just in order to hold the knuckle assembly in place while I undo the bottom of it. So I've undone all the control arms again, now that I've undone the bolt on the bottom. Coilover's back off again. That allows me access to the bottom of the bolt. Well, hit that with a hammer until it comes out. Like so. Next job is to undo these four bolts. They hold the hub in to the knuckle. And then I have to press the bearing out, which will not be very fun. So all of those bolts are loose now on the back, these four. So now I'll give them a little tap, now they're sort of threaded out a little bit from the thread, but still holding on to quite a lot so I don't just strip them out. And when you look. There you go, hub is out, nice and easy. So, just a little comparison of the two side by side. The uh, top mounting points up here appear to be virtually exactly the same. 
there's a little bit of a spacing difference from the coilover to I believe the tension arm maybe and also you can see the height difference that they sit at compared to with the holes lined up big drop there big drop there and the coilover actually sits at roughly the same height as does the lower arm mounting position these have caliper mounts on both sides which should fit the factory 15 brakes or Z33 I believe and I think you can run the drumming disc set up with these as well which is pretty handy as always uh, fitting is the reverse of removal so last thing to come off was the hub and wheel bearing so put that in the knuckle now this little ring here is for the drumming disc setup using the Z33 brakes but I'm not running that just running the 15 rear brake for the time being until the Brembos go on the back at which point the factory brake will become a hydro and handbrake cable and the Brembos which match the front Aston Martin ones will go on the rear for the foot brake to pull the bearing in just tighten them up little by little on each corner opposite sides and it slowly pulls the bearing in nice and straight I'm having to reuse one part from the old knuckle to the lower arm setup which is this little spacer here I've got the kit here which is a new pin which is not horrifically corroded might brush that up a little bit get some of the dirt off it and that should attach it to the lower arm top part of the lower control arm pin on the knuckle before putting it on the lower control arm just because it's limited in space and without you can get a spanner in the back nice and easily hold it in your lap and then it can be tightened to spec on the car it's on. In, the, in the lower control arm and then the cast on that that will also be reusing um, yeah so knuckle is pretty much on you'll notice I'm not running the dust shield which I've put somewhere it's because I'm gonna have to cut it off anyway when I fit the bigger brakes or cut a chunk out of it because I'm gonna be running two calipers so don't really need it all that much I'll just try and make thing make sure things stay clean I'm gonna get a bit too dark to film once again so I have just thrown the disc back on to be honest it'll probably stay I'm just nipping up the caliper at the moment I'll sort out the caster arm tomorrow after work and then to be honest once I've aligned it it should be good to take for a little test drive I don't know how well you can hear me over the car, but unfortunately yesterday I ran out of light again to film. So I just finished off the car and now I'm going to take it for a test drive. Because I don't have my GoPro, I'm going to have to try and film it with a phone holder and, uh, and my phone. So yeah, we'll see how that goes.
so that's not gone very well at all um, definitely gonna have to look into that not sure what the problem is yet um, I mean I did cane it a little bit but it should have that shouldn't be a problem not for what the car's designed to do anyway it's meant to be a drift car if it can't take a little bit of acceleration then <laughs> yes just not going to do the job very well so um yeah back to the drawing board i guess take the gearbox out check all the linkage and the prop shaft see what is up with it because that did not want to go into gear i'm guessing it's probably something to do with the adapter kit um i've not had much luck with it yet so anything to do with open it up and find out so i guess that's where i'll end this video then um however there is some uh some footage to come of the lovely new S13. So uh, I'll either insert that here or it'll be a whole nother video depending on what footage I've got. Um, yeah, enjoy.